Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and welcome or welcome back to Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. Last time when we left off, we did a bunch of stuff in the Glimmering Forest. We met with the Silver Lady. We got her mysterious message. And we know that we need to go back to Tarant. While we're there, uh, we have a couple of other quests we need to do, so that's what we are concentrating on today. At this moment, everything should be repaired, everything should be identified, I think that we're good. So we're gonna head back to the big city. Oh lord, these guys again. Well... There we go. That's what you get when you mess with Dr. B. Unny Esquire. They should know by now. You would think that word would have gotten around. I can't believe that there are any Malokian Hand members left. They have all attempted to assassinate us. Attempted being the key word. All right, and here we are, back in Toronto. First things first. We left something unfinished here. Let's see, did I go to the right one as the warehouse district? Yeah, okay. So the, uh... The orcs and half-orcs are trying to unionize, which is honestly just reasonable. What city do I wear in? This is, there's Dawn Throg. We need to get through there and speak with him. Okay. Uh, this key's not going to let us in here. Okay, well then. Virgil, up to you. You don't, you don't know that we're here. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, my guy. Why him hostile, though? That's not supposed to happen. Can we talk to him through the wall? Well, let's see here real quick. We should have that key, right? Yes, key to the factory housing the rebellious orcs. Mr. Babcock. Is there another way around? I don't think so. I don't see another door. There we go. Okay, we can talk to him through the door for some reason. I don't know why he's getting mad about that one. Anyway. <clears throat> this dark, brooding figure slowly turns to face you. His brutish features somehow accentuate his noble stature, rather than detract from it as one would expect. So, they finally sent someone to kill me, have they? Ahem. <clears throat> No, I am here to join your cause. What? I meant to believe that you want to throw in with the orcs. Your plight speaks to me. It speaks to you. What does it say? That we're fighting a hopeless battle. That will never be treated with respect. No one voluntarily joins with orcs. Why are you really here? I'm here to d deliver a message 
from Mr. Babcock. Babcock, what does he want? Does he still think we can gain rights through the system? Yes, he has devised a way for you to gain the right to unionize. Why should I listen to him? Or you, for that matter. He's a good man who only wants to help you. He is a weak-willed do-gooder who has chosen us as his latest cause. He's not a man who commands respect, and I tire of his worthless plans. As a council member, he has the respect of the courts. Oh, was that not it? You can't be serious. The courts are all against us and make new laws daily to keep us oppressed. I had enough of your drivel. As a matter of fact, I had enough of it last time I spoke with Babcock. Please leave me be. No. No. Oh, dang it. I thought I had a straight line, but no. Here we go. I'm gonna join your cause. Your plight speaks to me. I'm here to help you burn to romp to the ground. Say, what? <laughs> what? Are you insane? You know they'll kill you if they get the chance. You would just have me rush headlong into certain death. What would that accomplish? I don't know, but it would be fine. <laughs> okay, that doesn't speak to him either. Well. Did it do? Sir. There we go. Okay. You can continue to hide out in factories, I suppose. <laughs> Touché. Your wit serves you well and you do make a good point. What is Babcock selling this time? Something that will legally put you beyond Wheeler's reach. Alright. You have my ear. It would be intensely gratifying to use the law against Wheeler for once instead of the other way around. He sympathizes with the position of half-orcs and wants to fight for your rights. I see. If it is done skillfully enough, it might work. Then what? If once he proves you have rights, you can create a union. For once, old Babcock might be on to something. This is exactly the same conversation we have, or had, just a second ago. <laughs> just, it just forked differently in the middle, but it's the same conversation. He said Wheeler is sure to kill you if he gets the chance. Hmm. Tell Babs not to worry. We'll slip out of here under the cover of night. I'll meet up with him later to plot the humiliation of Wheeler, among other things. Thank you for delivering this message to me. You're welcome. And now he should be... He's wandering around. Just... Ah! Stop it. Stand still. There. I wasn't sure if his attitude improved or not. Alright. I convinced him to escape. He will meet you later, he said. Splendid. Splendid. Thank you oh so much for your help. You've done the city of Toronto great service. Oh, thank you, and good day. Good. Okay. Good, so that one's done. Oh, goodness. All these little side quests. Oh, my goodness. Okay, not that one. Sir Matt de Cesar. Matt de Cesar. Okay, right. It's different. I think, are those all the ones that we have at the moment? Yes. Alright, then, let's see. Matt de Cesare is... Criminal Science Marches Forward. It's phrenology. Go this way. I think he might be in that gentleman's club. And 
let's see here. The Garingsburg residence. We already returned the painting. Mm -hmm. Yes, how are you? <laughs> Greetings. Who are you? I'm Laurel, the housekeeper. Can you help me with something? Hmm, maybe. That depends upon the request. What goes on around here? Hmm. Nothing, apparently. It's the Moorlands. The Halster residence. Is there something here? Okay, let's see. We already helped her. The Franklins... Can't re I don't think because we don't know his name. Okay, so nothing there yet. It's the Wellington. We spoke with. That's Willisby, I think. Spoke with Perriman Smythe. It's the Pettibone residence. Why, you're that woman from the newspaper. You survived that horrendous crash. Well, we've already told everybody about it, so... Yes, yes I am. Oh, you poor dear. You must have been so traumatized. That lady should never have been subjected to such a tragedy. Here, there's a few coin to help you on your way. Is there anything else I could do for you? Uh, well, since you brought it up, what can you tell me about Caledon? On the western coast, I believe. Nice city. this fellow. Hey, what? Uh, <laughs> hey, what? He is tied to the Thieves Guild underground quests, I think. Oh. Yes, Cassandra Pettibone. So we met her out on the street and she said to come see us later. Or see her later. Could you came? I need to know whether you can be discreet. Whether we can be separate parts. I have something very important I need done, but no one must know about it. Hmm. My discretion depends on what you're asking of me, Miss... Oh, excuse me, where are my manners? I'm Mrs. Cassandra Pettibone, a wife of Basil Pettibone, lower assemblyman of the Gnomish conglomerate within the Industrial Council. Welcome to my humble abode. Hmm. Pleased to meet you. Now, about this job. I must tell you, I've been in such a state since that Mrs. Willisby brought home her elven funeral dagger. She thinks she's the height of fashion. The bag. How dare she flaunt herself that way. <laughs> I see. And uh, what would you like done about this? Here, look at this. She gives us a newspaper. Have you heard about the elven burial catacombs they've unearthed in the Morbahan Plains? Look at the engravings of this funerary stone. It's simply fabulous. I must have it. Hmm... I have to think this over. So, yes. It's a quest we're probably not going to do. She wants us to steal that elven funerary stone from the catacombs. You may recall from several streams ago, we uh, went over there and found this funeral stone right here. So yes, discovery of tombs in the Morbahan Plains by learned Professor R.I. James cause of much excitement. And of course, he was killed by elves. Professor William G. Harriman is set to embark on an expedition to the Morbahan Plains where a new series of ancient elvish tombs have recently been unearthed, including this exquisite example of prehistoric elven funerary art. According to learned Professor R.I. James of the Tarantian University, who is currently on the scene, uh, these tombs conclu uh, conclusively prove that prehistoric elven society buried their dead in the ground, as I had previously theorized. Professor James discovered the tombs while searching the region for more of the fossils which have no doubt delight or which have so delighted visitors to the Polytechnic's Hall of Natural History. The unprecedented collaboration between Messrs. James and Harriman is a unique event in the history of their respective institutions of employment and perhaps heralds a new era of cooperation between the two. In any case, the curate was most effusive in praise of the kindness and good judgment of Professor James, who immediately sent for him when the nature of his discovery became clear. Hmm. Yes, well. 
Go. As is tradition. So yeah, we're probably not going to be doing that quest. Now, this should be Edward Willowsby. Might I ask who you are, sir? Greetings. I'm Edward Willowsby, businessman, chairman of the Durantian Industrial Council. How might I be of service? Uh, well met, Mr. Willowsby. Might I ask you a few questions? I'd be more than happy to speak with you, young lady. I'm always eager to hear the thoughts and opinions of my constituents. Unfortunately, I have a pressing engagement just now. Will you stop by my offices in City Hall in an hour or so, and we can speak further? I may just do that. Good day to you. Yep, so we have been there. To head up that way later. All right, now, the Wellington. Uh, might I go in for a drink? Oh, I'm sorry, madam, this is a gentleman's club. No offense, but females are not allowed within. Oh, someone who refers to women as females. Oh, my. Well, is there no way I might be permitted to enter? It gives you a haughty stare. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam, this is a gentleman's club. And it has long-standing rules concerning the, uh, fairer sex. Mr. Wendell Wellington established this club 30 years ago, and if he says no women, then there'll be no women allowed on my watch. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I see, and just where might I find this, Mr. Wellington? Bouncer looks at you incredulously. Madam, as if I would tell you where the Honorable Mr. Wellington lives, please... Respect the man's wishes and his privacy. I must ask you to leave premises. Must you? Must you ask us that? <laughs> well, so, uh, Mr. Wellington, we're going to have to find him. He is not going to let us in, so. We need to, uh, we need to find an alternate way. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I think if we have higher enough persuasion, maybe we can talk our way past, but I can't recall. I'm not a hundred percent certain. I think I'm on the right spot. Because that should be... Yeah, that's Madame Lil's. Okay. Madame Tussaud. She's not going to tell us. Uh... Do do do. Hmm 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 hmm. Memorial office, right. It's Virgil. Oh, there we go. No noble. Might I request an introduction, good sir? Ah. <clears throat> ah, you must be fairly new in Tarant, not to know who I am. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Frederick T. Fitzgerald. Mayhap you've heard of me. In some circles, I am legendary. Oh, uh, sorry, no. What is it you do here? 
Let us just say that I am quite an upstanding and respected citizen here in Tarant. If you'll excuse me, I have important matters to attend to. Hmm. Fitzgerald. He has a name, which means he's probably got a quest attached to him, but I don't recall what it is off the top of my head. I don't think it much matters. While we are here anyway, let me see if your stuff has... Anything? No? Okay. That's alright, because I had a thought about this anyway. In the last stream, uh, I had a little bit of difficulty in Kintara because there's a quest that's difficult for us to complete because someone's basically watching us to make sure we can't do it. And it's like, hmm. Hmm. I think we'll address that later. Oh, is this him? Yes. Here we go. This is, yes, okay, this is him. This rather greasy fellow grabs your hand and fairly drools on it as he kisses it. <laughs> Madam, so pleased to make your acquaintance. Wenda Wellington, owner of the famed Wellington Gentleman's Club, at your service. Gentleman's Club? Am I to assume women are not welcome? Well, women are not generally permitted within its walls, but there are always exceptions, eh? Wink. I'm fairly confident something could be arranged. And what did you have in mind? A mere pittance. Say a hundred coins ought to gain you invitation. an invitation which will get you into my club. He takes your hand and begins to stroke it suggestively. And, of course, I would expect you to show me your gratitude. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, 100 coins and show you my gratitude? Never. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, this is optional. You can um, demonstrate your gratitude to Mr. Wellington in exchange for this invitation. <laughs> but there are other ways around it. I think this is one of those cases where the good doctor, uh, <laughs> needs to take a stand. What if I allow you to live instead of ripping your throat out? Huh. Throws your hand down in disgust. Why, I have never been so insulted in all my life, Harlot. Price just went up to 200 coins as well as seeing to my needs. Hmm. I prefer to see your sooner, uh, to see to your funeral, swine. I don't understand why we're attacking such a decent type. Magnus. How can I help you? Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. I don't understand why we're attacking such a decent type. Magnus. How can I help you? Shut up. How about that? Do 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 do. There we go. Ahem. We have done a good deed today. From the desk of Wendell Wellington. Please allow the bearer of this invitation full access to the club. Signed, Wendell Wellington. Oh, he was also an esquire. Ahem. Might I go in for a drink? <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. We've been through this. <laughs> but I've been given this a special invitation, sir. You can see he is not happy about it. I see. Well, madam, I can't stop you from going in, but this is highly irregular. I'm afraid the regular members won't be at all. Please, I beg you, finish your business here and leave as quickly as possible. I do what I want. <laughs> Effectively. Garingsburg Heist painting stolen. This is one of the ways that you can find out about that. Let's see. Is this him? I think so. The smell of alcohol coming from this fellow fairly gags you. 
What question? Who are you be? Uh, what is your name, sir? He looks at you intently, unsuccessfully attempting to focus on one of you. <laughs> I'm honorable, sir. Bad sir, es Esquire. Another Esquire? Well, I'm to deliver a message to you from Tom Grack. What? This is the old tossing one now. Uh, he's waiting at the Kensington Broadway kiosk for you. No, he did. He lurches forward and steadies himself at the last minute before falling on top of you. Stupid. Bush, quasi, vicious. Let him wait. Well, my work is done. Good day. Oh ho. Ha 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 ha. It becomes obvious that his drunkenness was a ruse as he quickly grabs you. Who are you? Why did you lead him here to kill me? Talk quickly before I kill you. Lead who here? So, of course, that's this fellow. So he's like, finally, I get to kill Matt de Césaire. So he just is standing here, kind of disguised, and then pulls a the gun or whatever. Damn, what, what are you talking about? Never seen Crack use women before, but you were working for him, weren't you? I met him on the street. He asked me to do him a favor, that's it. Pauses for a moment, looking at you. Be insane, but I believe you. Get out of here before I change my mind. Wait, what was all this about? We can't talk here. Follow me. Okay. One moment. Just gonna. Very quickly. Nothing? Okay. Well. How do you do, madam? Uh, what do you know, friend? Just having a drink? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, perhaps you're interested in a game of wits. I'll bet you 500 coins you don't know the answer to a question I have. What you say? Uh, sure. In the glimmering forest, what do death lanterns feed on? Death lanterns? But elves? No. Will-o'-wisps? Okay. I thought death lanterns were a kind of will-o'-wisp. I forgot. Elves live about a thousand years. There. It's not cheating because it's a different question. Right. Nicely done. Here's your money. Yeah, he just takes your 500 gold because, of course, you have to bet him. Please don't kill me. Retreat, retreat. Ooh. Hmm. Dark elf noble, you say. Madam. Greetings. Might I ask who you are, sir? Stressed in dark robes, looks furtively back and forth and regards with hard, unblinking eyes. Better you don't ask questions like that. Likely to get a girl like you in a world of trouble. Well, I appreciate the tip, friend. Hmm. Man looks you over, calculating. It seems to come to a decision. Are you looking for work, friend? Are you a woman that can keep her mouth shut? Make yourself a handful of gold? Hmm. Uh, I think this is part of the Thieves Guild quest, maybe? Hmm. I don't think so, but thanks for the offer. Good day. Come back and change our minds. The bartender. Ha <laughs> ha! It is nice to meet you. I am at your disposal. I will also have to get a disposal done for, for that. To have, have that disposed of. Here we go. Okay, we can talk here. What is going on? Who are you? I can't give you those answers yet. Suffice it to say that I am part of something that... Well, even I don't rightly know exactly all that I'm part of. It's safer that way in case I'm caught, but I do know a few things which I can tell you if you prove to me that you can be trusted. Looks like I'm going to need your help now that my presence here has been compromised. And how, how do I do that? Well, this may, may sound strange to you, but I'm here in Tehran to recover the skulls of the Renar Siamese twins. Their skulls are evidence that... well... 
I will fill you in if you bring them to me. So this is a very important quest, actually. And remember that Phrenologist hinted that he wanted these specific skulls, and we have not uh, acquired them for him. This is why. Now, he's not a phrenologist, but a phrenologist, a different character, did ask us for these skulls. Where would one find these skulls? Well, that's where this becomes difficult. The skulls had been interred in a mausoleum in the Tarant Cemetery, but when I went looking for them, they were already gone. And remember, over here we went into that mausoleum, and it was empty and very much looked like someone had disturbed it. So, where would I look for them? I do not know. I believe they're still in Tarant in a warehouse somewhere, waiting to be shipped out. Okay, I'll return with the skulls. Okay. We gotta head over this way. Sometimes you gotta steal some skulls, man. Occasionally it must be done. Okay, let's see. We went into this warehouse. Is this one, maybe? I think that it's on Quilton Bend. I think. But I won't swear to that. Maybe it's this one. Oh. Thaddeus Minor. Okay, no. This is the Thieves Guild guy. He's the one that gives you the quest to uh, steal the Golden Idol of Cree, which we're not doing. So. Check before I start breaking into places. Uh, is it this one? Just passing through. Okay, no. Because there is like a, there is a crate in there. That should be okay, that's the flop house. I think it's this one. Okay. Virgil. Come on, Virgil. There we go. Aha! This should be it, I believe. Ogre Guard. Notice that uh, Magnus says nothing about that guy. Oh no! Virgil, defend me! Got anything good? No. Okay. I think maybe it's... I think it's this one. You saw the were-rat, at least. No, liquid soap, chainmail, and an axe. Maybe here? Maybe? Ah, yes. Hey, I called it. Look at that. All right. The skulls of the Renar Siamese twins. Ba -dum. Ba -dum, bum 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 I actually did remember. Well. Well done, Starfish. Why, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Yes, everyone can tell. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I regret to inform you. This is, in fact, my best. Alright, where's Matt? Oh, this way. That's the Willisby's house. I brought you the skulls. Excellent. This is the break we've been looking for. Uh, you were going to tell me what was going on here now? I can tell you what I know, and a man named Arthur Tyron can fill you in on the rest. Some years ago. Now, we've heard hints of this before. This is where we're breaking it wide open. Some years ago, bizarre breeding experiments were begun in secret, which would eventually affect the balance of power here in Tarant. 
the Renard twins were the first viable offspring produced by these experiments. Their skulls are simply the first piece in a long chain of evidence we are gathering to expose them all. Who is doing this? What was the purpose of these experiments? I've told you all I dare. Tyron can fill you in on the rest. I need you to bring him the skulls if you would. It would be far too dangerous for me to search him out. Okay. Good. He was in Blackroot last I knew. Perhaps you can still find him there. On my way. Let's see. Two. Once again, as is tradition. <laughs> Virgil. What is it that you want of me? Hold this. Thank you. All right. We're on the case. We've been on the case the whole time, but now we're, like, really on the case. Yeah, that's one of those weird things, like, you know, they'll you'll have a... You'll have a footstool, and, and they call it an ottoman. And it's like, I'm pretty sure that that empire never happened here. My, my man. My brother. Almost positive. But here we are anyway. <laughs> Human bandits. Where are you at? What do you want? Whose house is this? It's Pollock's house, and he don't like strangers hanging around here. Oh, I don't care what he likes or doesn't like. What? Girl, you don't know what kind of trouble you're getting yourself into. You better walk away while you still can. Oh, he dies right after I kill you. This'll be a cakewalk. Well, if I can hit anything. Virgil, bro. Ooh. Poor Magnus. Hey, you gotta hit him, though. So you may ask why we are doing this. And that's a valid question. Well, that's the way to show those bastards. I, oh, I sorry, mean, Magnus. Good hit, madam. And the reason is because the only way to end gang violence in Tarant is to be violent to the gangs. Do any of you have anything? Like, even one of you? Ooh, some bandages. Uh, quinine. Ooh, bread. Oh, man. We love a good bread. Just a whole loaf. Uh, nothing. Okay, well. Yeah, da, 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 da. There is a more elegant way to do this where there's like an intersecting quest line, but it involves like you have to help one of the gangs and then you have to turn on the other one anyway. So it's actually just faster and easier to do it like this. Virgil. Virgil, please. Virgil. You jammed the door, Virgil. Virgil, my guy. Virgil, I believe in you. Maybe that belief is misplaced. <laughs> That's probably fine. Not one of them had, like, a key. Virgil, really? Okay, hmm. That's fine. I guess we'll have to do this the easy way. I'm pretty sure 
me double check. Okay, because I didn't pick that up, so that means that there was at least one body I didn't check. Nothing. Nothing. No keys. Okay, well, that's all right. There you go, exactly. Violence is not the answer. Violence is the question. The answer is yes. Do, 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 do. Uh, he is level 40. Magnus, if you block that door. There we go. Now we're getting some hits in. Done in by the doggo. Had to get Virgil to move off of his body. Hmm, some absinthe. Let's see. Okay, Verge. Can you get this? Apparently not. Treasure chest, you can't just blow up like that because, uh. You will destroy what's inside them. Virgil, I'm begging you. Oh, man. It's probably fine. Okay. Just not gonna worry about that too much. Let's try the other one. Nope. Virgil, my guy. You're useless today. Are we having a bad one? Why did you run all the way over there? I know there's only so much range on this thing, but... That seemed ill-advised. Zambies. Man, those things used to be terrifying. Not anymore. There we go. <laughs> A ghoul. Let's clear the chaff. Poor doggo. That must taste terrible. attitude hadn't changed yet, so it had a green circle. I was like, uh... Are you an ally? I love when the dog is impressed by your critical hits. Yeah, we're gonna have to have this dress laundered. For sure. Okay, now listen. 
Come on now, Pathfinding. The sewers down here are, shall we say, extensive. But hey, we're about to level up. Let's take care of you. Get this one. Yes. Excellent. And it can't get to us. Not an attack at the same time. Wonderful. Oh, what a good dog. Okay, yeah. You can see we're heading towards something. Something unusual. And a one. And a two. Yeah, come on over here. Get them, lads. There it is. We are level 44. A boot. It is, okay. Okay. Of course, this ladder comes up way out here. Oh, there is a wise woman in Toronto. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Bruh. I just thought she was out the other side. Hmm. Let us barter. Anything good? Magic robes, crushing hammer, not really. Just browsing. Not really what we're here for. Not really what we're here for. Back this way. Quick, down the ladder. And around this way. The good doctor prescribes pain. Just a little off the top. Uh. <laughs> Get it? Because our Thank weapon you. is the aerial Keep decapitator. Calm. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for the gift subs, Trance. Truly, y'all spoil me. Far too much on this channel. These, ah, slithers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We haven't been here, so... There's something kind of like this in so many different CRPGs. Sort of like slug or snake people that live in the sewers. Your funeral, bro. Hey. Ooh, yeah. Check it. Some good stuff. Some chests uh, scale with your level. Most don't. Some 
So it's like, you know, there are some places that you can definitively go and you can get uh, equipment and things that are way better than you should have at a certain point in the game. And then there are others where if you wait to open them, the contents of the chest will be far superior later on in the game than they would have been had you, uh, had you opened them sooner. Da 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 da. Yet, yet, da 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 da. Oh, he's got a gun. Look out. Hmm. Can I? Oh, it just took my whole turn. Rather than allowing me to do anything. Hmm, that's weird. Stuck in the door. Let's see, can we maybe do this? And just put it right back there. This guy's about had it anyway. There, let's just move out of their way and see. Maybe our doggo can get in there. I mean, Virgil's doing fine, but... I can't hardly hit him. Support! Nothing that time, huh? We can help like this. I was afraid of hurting Virgil, but... There we go. We got the big guy. Okay, now... Now we're talking. <laughs> we hit himself with that axe. Hmm. Get in there, Saw, get you some. Virgil's like, I need to be healed a lot. Okay, anything there? No. What's this? He's wearing, like, what looks like magical robes. But... Doesn't have those on him when you loot the body. Okay, pure ore. Hey. It's actually worth it. How can I help you? Do you have any room? I think you're basically tapped, yeah. Because he's got the dwarven ore. That's okay. Sog can carry this, I think. And actually, let's see, potion of haste. Did you carry that, that sapphire, and that emerald? Yeah, that's how you know they're magic. Because they disappear when you go to pick them up. Nothing. 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 There's like a quest thingy thing here, and, uh,. I, don't, I think that those chests are always empty unless you have the quest. And are the correct, like, distance along in the quest line. We actually haven't really explored the sewers of Toronto. We came down here very briefly. But we certainly didn't come down here with purpose. Is that one? I think that one might be locked from above. Ah, uh, that one we can go up to. Elemental snake, it says. 
different from the Slithers, Slither Guards that we fought earlier. Excuse you. Rude. Nice. I'll deal with this one. And that one. Anything here? Oh yeah. Diamond ring, sapphire ring. Look at all this pretty fancy stuff. And some more magic armor. What is it that you want of me? Let's see, take that. Another potion of haste. And that and that. Uh, and that. And I'm not going to give you those rings because I found out yet for some reason he will equip the non-magical rings. And he will take the magical ones off if he has them. I don't know why. This seems silly to me, but... Okay, let's see here. Can you carry anything else? Actually... You can carry that armor if I can get it on. Or in my backpack. So let's see... That's three by four, isn't it? Okay. Pick that back up in a second. Song, you carry that. And then I'll pick my hat back up. Nice. Yeah, that's what it is. Virgil just likes to feel pretty. So there's certainly some nice rings. Where's this one come out? Frantium water and power plant. Right. Okay. Don't actually need to be here. Oh yeah, our first uh, sort of watery creature. It's a slime demon. Uses the same sprite as the water elemental, I think. used a potion of haste, that's what that is for. I love when it's like, attitude, courteous. This slime demon is very respectful. Nice. Get him, doggo. Good boy. Oh no! A trap. Ha! We disarmed it. Anything in here? Quinine, black powder, nothing we need. A sewer shambler. Whoop. Some R.O.U.S.'s. No, okay. Hmm. 
Appears uh, to be one stuck in the wall and we can't really get through. There we go. That'll take care of it. What we got here? Okay, fleshy mound. We saw one of those before. That's what uh, killed everybody at that small camp where we got our upgraded dress. Or replaced our broken dress, rather. That's such a funny animation. Oh no! Let's get back behind Magnus. I'm sure he'll protect us. Or something. Box with waste. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Useless, all of you sewer monsters. See, sewer rats. Attitude, courteous. Such well-mannered rats they have here in the Tarantian sewers. Big ol' boy. Nice. More jewelry. Man, people just lose jewelry down here, like, all the time, don't they? Magnus got stuck on something. Let's keep going in one direction. Till we can't anymore. These things aren't worth a lot of experience points, as you can see, but they are great in numbers, and that makes them great for leveling up. Oh, our doggo won't be so easily taken in by weak attacks like that. full of rats. Let's let the lads have their fun. Come on. There we go. Now we can see all of them. Goodness, look at him. Oh, you are not a threat. There we go. Look at him go. 
one shot, one kill. And Virgil, out of nowhere with a steel chair. Over this way. Da -da 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 -da. Put our backs in the corner, that helps. Let them come to us a little bit. Or not. It's alright if you're feeling finicky. We can come to you. The doctor makes house calls. Ah, here we go. This is one of the big rooms I was thinking of. This makes me think of uh, Might and Magic 6. Okay. Y'all come to us. Now we're in it. Boom. Get mad. Honestly, fantasy sewers are some of the worst places. It's like, why do they build them like this? Also fair. Yeah, I wouldn't want to just like go hang out in a real sewer. But at least real sewers don't generally have these. You know, most of the time. Ooh, nice, Virgil. Pathfinding! Boom. A boom. Hey, and there's the level. All right. Boop. 20 intelligence. Oh, you can also see up here. This is why intelligence matters for spellcasting. Willpower determines the strength of your spells. But up here, we have never used any of these because we're not a spellcaster. But these slots are how many active spells with a duration you can maintain at one time. So if you have a defensive spell like Force Shield on, it takes up one of these slots until you turn it off. So, 20 intelligence, that's when you get that fifth slot. Okay, well, we've got 20 decks, we've got 20 int, so we can learn all of the stuff now. So it's time to come back over here. Clockwork Decoy and Mechanized Arachnid, I know that's where y'all want to go. <laughs> okay, I don't know why, I don't know why it gave us the, uh, Aerial Decapitator um, sound effect, but but that's great. Oh no, a trap! What is it that you want of me? I want of you to hold these gems, please. There we go. Um...
Magnus, you can actually hold these rings. Because it's okay if you wear them. You don't have any other rings, so who cares? And you, you have no room for anything? Really? Huh. Kinda surprised. Interesting. <laughs> it's sprite is messed up. Oh, you've got a shotgun. Oh, I bet you picked that up from other guy. Okay, well here, there's that and that. Those are yours. And go. Any of these others? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. All right. It's the elixir of hypnotic suggestion. Which I am morally against using, but... You never know when you may have no choice. Is that in... Herbology, maybe? Mental inhibitor. So it has to be here. Yeah, here we go. Science has finally unlocked the deepest secrets of the mind. With the elixir of hypnotic suggestion made through combining elixir of persuasion and hallucinite, you can easily control both friend and foe alike with only the sound of your voice. They'll be completely unable to resist your commands. Utterly fantastic. That's a great way to use up the uh, potion of persuasion. If you need to. Speaking of which, actually, like, let's see. Okay, we've got Healing Sab, Fatigue Restore, Cure All, Elixir of Physical Prowess. Let's put Lockpicks over here. Potion of Persuasion. Okay, so it is already on the bar. Good. Uh, let's put this here. This here. Let's move our buffing potions over there. And then this is, let's see, Fortifier... Accelerate healing. Oh, we need to give that to Virgil. So the cure-all is already down there. Wonder drug can go here. And we've got accelerate healing and fortifier. Um... Put this down here first. Actually, no, you know what? There. Poison cure. Haha. <laughs> what is it that you want of me? You take that. We do not need it. There we go. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay, now, right, this way, okay, so it's back to that intersection. Honestly, I need to be looking for a ladder up so that we can get that stuff identified and sell it. Inventory's getting full again. We need to pick up another follower. <laughs> Could always use another backpack, I mean, ally. This one, yeah, okay. I don't think there's a whole lot of treasure left, actually. We've explored most of the sewers. So at this point, I believe that it's mostly, um... Mostly just enemies. There you go. You go have some fun. Entertain yourselves. I'll prime them for you. You get to finish it. Nice. Okay. Uh... Do 
not go this way, but we need to. An impressive attack. Thank you. I'll let y'all handle this one. There we go. Well done, Sog. Just go ahead and start some shit. Really? Okay. We need to make some more poison cures, honestly. We only got one. There you go. Get in, my lads. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Do we have... Poison cure. Venom and Kadura stem. Okay. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Some of them I know, but that one is not one I remember. Hey, there's some venom though. And Kadura stem. Well, look at that. There. And. Do we have to drop any or is that. Okay, good. Couldn't remember how many that made. Three. Makes sense. Oh, which armor did it damage? Of course. Of course our beautiful dress again. It's alright. I'll do it. Is there anything else in here? Tincture of Arnica, sugar. Let's see. Oh, Virgil, hun. Vir Virgil. Okay, well. Good good job, I guess. That kind of worked, sort of. Ah, this way. Should be about it for the sewers. Just letting them have some fun. Okay, good. Uh. Hilarious. 40 fucking damage, my god. Good job, guys. Plates, iron ore, nothing we need. Nice. Have fun, boys. Oh, they're gonna. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Okay. Just that one. Oh, okay. Can we? 
Can we make enough room? What is it that you want of me? Take that and that. And you take that. Okay, so he is completely full. Virgil, I think, is... Oh, he's almost completely full. Is there anything else I can give you? Not that would matter. Oh, Sog. Okay, you've got a couple of slots. I can give you this because you won't use it. That should be enough, I think, for me to manipulate. Oh, no, 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 because that's not... Okay. Dang it. Uh... You know what? That's... Makes her physical prowess. Those need to be down there. I forgot we kind of had them. Hmm. That did not solve our problem. What is it that you want of me? We've got two slots. Take a couple of these fatigue restorers. We have plenty, and I can always make more. Then. Trying to make as few trips as possible, so, like, if there's anything we can do to not have to come back. You hold that nitroglycerin. Oh, where did I go? Oh, okay. It's nitroglycerin. Oh. I mean, that's true. Actually, I probably should. Let's do that. Because I can make more. It's not like we're going to run out, even though it says we only have four left or whatever it's like well and okay let's go there okay now I just need to move one thing uh there he needs some healing too there okay gosh now we are like truly carrying too much. Oh man, this is going to be painful. Uh, does that loop back around at all? Oh man, that's... Oh god. Yeah, you never know what could happen after the end credits. Okay, that is a long way away. Oh man. You know, maybe now is the time to use this, actually. There we go. Increases our strength somewhat. Where's the closest ladder? It does not matter where it comes out. It just matters that it does. Make as much headway as possible for that potion wears off. Not there. Okay. This way. That one's not active. Nope. Okay. Here's the slime demons. Of boo. By the time I find one, it's gonna be the way uh, the way we came in. Lol. That's all right though.
Hey, here we go. This is the one I wanted, in fact. I believe. Yeah. Okay, let's go up here. Let's get the shiz identified. Identify things. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. What is it that you want of me? Okay, the only other thing we have, I believe, is... Oh, there is another thing of small armor. Okay. Identify this, please. Good, he'll automatically pick that up. And then... Okay, I can give him that. Pick this up, and I think that was all that we found that needs identification, correct? So, let's see, that's identified. This is identified. There we go. Okay, whew. Now, what will you sell? I will take it. Okay, she doesn't want that. She will buy this, though. Good, because we don't need it. Um, okay, that just leaves. This armor here, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go ahead and take that back from him. Yep, yeah, okay, that should be it. Okay. Let's get over here before my potion wears off. We can actually stop by on the way and get our dress repaired too, so that it doesn't break on us. Since this guy can repair without any uh, reduced durability. Can you fix something for me? Boop. There we go. Nice. Okay, now. Uh, I need to go to the shops. Might be too late in the day. We'll have to wait until morning, but that's okay. That is acceptable. Our potion has done its job and we can always brew more. Uh, we made it almost the whole way. Before we bumped into someone. Let's be in. Yes, okay, good. Reek of technology, we don't serve your kind here. Please leave. You have a mind so fine that no idea could violate it. Now, wait just a second. 72. Our technological aptitude has actually gone down and all of a sudden he doesn't want to do business with us. What in the world? Okay, what about you over here? Oh. They were fine. They have been fine the entire time until just now. Wow. Okay. Well. If you're not fine anymore, then you're not fine, I guess. That only leaves one solution. Let's take a quick trip. out of town and then we shall come back there's a little bit of sewers left but all right we need to kill the other half of the the gangs too we'll take care of that when we come back we're gonna have to go to shrouded hills <laughs> lol 
That's okay. Lloyd buys stuff at very reasonable prices, so. And then while we're here, we can also head down to Black Root. So it's useful to be in this area anyway. Because we can pursue the uh, Skull Quest, which I do want to do. Maloki and Hand is taking a little break. They're not stopping us on the road this time. Lloyd? Are you awake? No? It's okay. I'll just wait here. There it comes. Hello, Lloyd. Let's see. Good. Magic plate mail. Ah, oh, I feel lighter already. Small magic plate mail. Okay. How can I help you? You can't, but... There we go. Sog has what I need. And... Anything else? I believe that that's it. Oh. He's out of money. That's okay. Buy that to make a balanced sword. Um. Sog. What have you got? Okay, so this Barbarian's Heavy Blade. Speed 12. It's 8 to 20 and 6 to 12. So this is, right, 16 to 28, 15 to 33, and speed 8. So it's a little slower. But so if I take this... Okay, good, it is one-handed. All right, I'm going to give him that then. Advance time one day. How much does your money recover in a single day, Lloyd? Show us. Show us the magic. Nothing. Okay. Oh, you know what? We're standing too close to him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need we need that cash. It's only broke because they keep giving us all their money. Okay, now he'll probably have some gold back. How much will it be? 145. Good. Can you afford this? Okay, he's got 609. Okay, so he's recovering at a pretty good rate. So let's do this. One. Two. Three. If he's recovering 600 gold per day, it's a pretty tidy profit. That should give him enough. Now can you afford it? Oh, well, I guess it slowed down a little bit. Don't have anything that we need. Otherwise I'd buy it from him just to kind of even things out. Okay. Another day, another dollar. And again. He's literally standing in the town square without blinking for a week. Anyone makes eye contact, we just stare them down. 
until they break out in a cold sweat. There we go. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, since we are here... Can I help you? Okay. Should be all of his stuff. Virgil, six sapphire, all these manure coins. Let's get rid of these geodes while we're at it as well. Set of diamonds, crystal. Take that. Okay, that looks like everything. Yeah, okay, because the ruby, the black diamond, the cathorn crystal, the diamond, and the star ruby we want to keep. And Sog. You can give me those. Oop. Nope. Okay. Okay, what do you buy? Will you buy these? No. Buy that? No. You will buy the gemstones, though. Okay, he only has a little bit of money. So can we... Do we have a Hilton guard today? No, okay. Nobody buys these damn geodes, so... Go to Stitzy. He'll take them for 75 each. That's pretty good, considering that nobody else will buy them at all. So, say that seems all right. Now, he pays way less than Lloyd for this other stuff, so. Do you have anything? No. Nice. Nice. We're about to break 30,000 gold. That's awesome, because that may be important soon. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about that. It is fine. And not something you should worry about. Okay, Lloyd. Wow, look at that. Reaction 212. He is head over heels for us. Okay, he won't buy those at all. Okay, 145, 203, 232, 116, 116, 116, 58, 58. Okay. All right, if he won't buy the manure coins anyway, then we will just sell them to Ristetsi. Oh, I forgot to look. Do you have... Hilton Guard? Yes, you do. Okay, good. It's time to engage in a little constructive... blacksmithing. How can I help you? Okay. Smithing. He has okay, to have his inventory. That makes sense. How can I help you? Magnus, would you please make me a sword? Now I'll pick it up. This is one of the earliest weapons you can make yourself, and it's actually quite a good weapon. See, speed 18, 3 to 12 damage, 3 to 9 fatigue damage. Like, that's better than a lot of the non-magical swords that you can buy early on. We just never had one because, like, Magnus is a smith, not us. We are a medical doctor who dabbles in machinistry. Like, that's her side hobby. 
Yes, make me a sword. Poof, you're a sword. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, he won't buy that. Huh. Uh, buy this, though. Okay, I think that's everything except the ore. Okay, now he does have another one of these. Let me see. We'll Rostetsi. Buy it. He'll buy anything. 58 coins. Okay, good. Well, that's more than we're getting for the ore, but we have enough money that I don't think that it's really worth it you? to think of it that way. How can I help you? go how can I help you did you have enough room to no nope, where did it go magical disappearing sword is it I don't see it on the ground anywhere huh he was standing in a weird spot when he made it so that's oh Fucking Rostetsi went over and picked it up off the ground. You bastard. Here. That's alright. We can afford to be slightly charitable. We have almost 30,000 gold. It's probably okay. Alright. Break's over. Back on the case. Have anything? Ooh! Oh, that's the Dark Helm that we sold her before. Okay. No. Oh, that does remind me, though. I think I sold her that bow and wanted to see if it was better than the other one. Let me rotate her inventory and see if it pops up. They keep these things that you sell them. indefinitely. It's just added to their inventory, so they just have the item now. That means that if you need something back, of course they're going to charge you through the nose to repurchase it back off of them, but it will be there. Mystical Chakra. I can't remember. Maybe I might have sold it to Lloyd instead of her. I was thinking I sold it to her, though. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. If I feel that strongly about it, I can check it out later. It's not important at the moment. Anywho. There we go. Okay. On to Blackroot. We're looking for Arthur Tyron. Tyron. Tyrone. Let's go. There we are. Okay. Now, Arthur Tyron, where you is? Is it you? No. It's not this fellow, that's the archer guy. Where would he be? don't remember exactly where he's located in Blackroot. Do you have anything worthwhile? It's been a while since uh, since we have been here. Nah. Nah. Nothing. Although, you know what? Actually, here, what Virgil? is it that you want of me? 
I was hanging on to this witch bane in case we needed it for something because it's like a rarer component to pick up off the ground. But since we can buy it here, that'll save like six inventory slots. The train station, right? Okay. It's not there. We got the sour barnacle. Oh. Hmm, yes, what is it? Oh, one doesn't expect to see a priest in such an establishment. It's my veritable home away from home. Actually, it's just about the last place that'll have me these days. And your actual home would be where? I hail from Durnholm, capital of Cumbria. Been driven from my beloved Cumbria to end up here. Oh, you'd best pack your bags. Black Root has rejoined Cumbria. What? Perhaps it is time for me to finally take my leave of dear old Cumbria. Oh. A tough break, old boy. Perhaps I'll see you about. He is a priest of the old... Church of Cumbria. Okay, that might be. I think you can get him as a companion, but we don't need him. Last thing we need is a second magical healer. Greetings and welcome. Might I ask your name? Oh, I am the master shipbuilder here in Blackroot, pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, do you have any ships for sale? Not at the moment. We're finishing work on this one right here at the moment. Perhaps you should try back later. Perhaps we shall. Where is Arthur Tyron? Not there. This is the tech shop. Got anything good? No. Yeah. Bye. That's... Herkimer, Herkimer Ogdodler. That's not who we need to see. Sounds like Swedish chef. Herkimer Ogdodler. Okay, that's Liam's mom's house. Is it? This is the house we couldn't get into earlier. I think this might actually be it. Let me see if I can. Just wait for this guard to go past. We ain't dropping no Eve, sir. Honest. All right, Virgil, continue. Thank you. Uh. Oh, hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> you hold that. No idea whose house that is. Forget. Um. Grenwall. Oh, I'm so, I know where Arthur is, I think. Greetings. Anything you want to buy or sell? Arrows, reinforced leather, same thing as everybody else. Nothing. Barter, anything good? No. Is it down here? Spending a lot of time looking for this guy. The 
this. Tugel the Hedge Wizard. Ah! Thief in my house! Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, I thought that I knew, but... Uh, maybe he is in the inn, and I just didn't ask the right person? not here. I feel like... He's supposed to, like... Like, he's not actually here, here. I think he leaves a note. Is it in here? What is it that you want of me? Did we already pick it up? Oh! Oh my god, we did. The crow is in danger. Tyron. That's what it is. What is it That's that why I can't find him. Lol. Lol. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you do you know what this means? This means that I could have just talked to him again, I think, and we didn't have to actually what is it that you want of me? go anywhere. Okay. That's so fucking funny. That's there we go. So we didn't need to come here at all. So you have to do this, and then the next stage of the quest, I think, takes us to Caledon, which we're on our way there soonish anyway. So. Do, 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 do. Okay. This way. He should be standing up here by the corner. Yes, good. It's all very uh, skull and bone, so it's appropriate that we're meeting him at night. Here we go. Tyron is not in Blackroot. He isn't. Did you find anything of his? A note that said the crow is in danger. I was afraid of this. They're closer to us than I thought. So close, in fact, that he didn't even leave his new location encoded in that note. But what shall I do now? Please keep looking for him. It's imperative he receives those skulls. Okay. Well... There's all that. That leaves the sewers. Okay, where do we leave off? Hmm.
Map's gone completely dark. I think if we head over this way, I'm... we can get back over to where we were, I believe. Maybe not. Actually, no. It doesn't all connect. That's right. The sewer is in like two or three sections. But unlike in Baldur's Gate, they don't all meet up in the middle. Okay, here we go. Oh, this manhole seems welded shut. A small placard on it reads, Sealed by order of Charles Dunstan, Manager, Torrentian Water and Power Plant 19, Lion's Head Circle. Don't want us to go down that one. It's okay. We know where we're going. Broadly. Like, ish. Around in a circle. Come on, this way. Just need to take this. Go to the docks. Go. And then we can go this way. That works because... Yeah, okay. Have to go around Nya. And as we do... We can visit this lovely lady here and have her tell us what that armor is, if nothing else. Then at least we shall know. Identify. Okay. Mithril Chainmail. AC 12 plus 2. Damage reduction 23 plus 2. Resistance. It's a lot of resistance. Even electricity resistance is negative 10, but plus 20, so it's a net positive. What is yours? Okay, that's 19, 26... 10 and 15. That's 14, 25. Okay, but if he puts that on, then seventy four magic power available, 52%. What is it that you want of me? So he might need a second for it to kind of gear up. No? Wild that mithril chainmail is not as good as magic leather armor. Hmm. It almost is. There. Buck wild. It's alright, we'll just sell that. At some point. Okay, here we are back in the sewers. So we pass through that way, of course. That's from over there, so we need to get back around there. It's gonna be a long walk, but that's okay. The good doctor does not mind a hike. Right. And here, I think. It looks like we didn't go this way. Or if we did, the map doesn't remember it. Now it's uncovering it a little bit. Okay, well, 
Yep, there's a rat that we didn't kill, so. Oh, a two-hitter. Well done. Ooh, muckwalkers, you say. These take a little bit of killing. They are actually level 20. Sealed up inside here. Hmm. Let's see if this one's trapped. Yeah, honestly. Get more venom, small electrical parts, sheet metal. Nothing else that we really need. We have we've killed a lot of uh, RATSs tonight. It's our own fault. Ah, here we go. That's where we found the magic armor. is where we're supposed to be. Little, little sloshy noises as you run around in the sewers. Like it's gross, but I love it. <laughs> Doggo back there like, woof. Good job. Well done. Okay, are you trapped? Doesn't seem like an unidentified dagger, unidentified sword. The sword doesn't look magical, but sometimes the best ones don't. Make such a funny noise when you finish them off. <laughs> that right there. So funny. Alright, now you come to me. That should be about it for the sewers. At least for now. There's a couple of parts that we haven't been in yet, and we may not need to go. Just kind of depends. There we go. Let's let the lads have some fun. Come on, boys, there's enough for everybody. Come on, come in here. Join in. There we go. See? Plenty for all. Oh, they are leaving. Okay, this one does go up somewhere, and that should be it. So we went up that way, even though it's not on the map, like that's where we came from before. So this one goes... Where does this come out? All right. Right, right, right. Yes. 
this is in the boil. So actually, <laughs> ironically, uh, this is where we kind of need to be anyway. This is where we wanted to come up. Because we want to talk with this guy, if I'm not mistaken. This is the other gang leader. We did uh, Mog or whatever his name is, so I think this one is Pollock. Ah. Oh! Hello? That's the way to show those bastards. Okay, well. I mean, good hit, madam. Let's see. We got a we got a note up here. What was it? Uh, the Tyron, right? Did we fail a quest? I don't think so. Oh, that's a reputation. Wait a minute. Yes, here we go. Enemy of the Clan Mog. Members of the Clan Mog will generally attack you on sight. Uh, okay, so this was Mog. I guess. Gold ring. Anything else? Says decent, but he's not decent enough to have a key on him, is he? Virgil, please. I love how he stops in the middle. Man, you've got to get better at lock picking, my dude. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What will we do? Uh. Oh, another doggo. Reaction minus 30, lol. Yeah. <laughs> Moogles attack us on sight. Oh no. That's what happens when you make an enemy of Clan Mog. Well, this is not exactly what I intended to do, but we were going to do this anyway. So, it's, it's fine, actually. No big deal. That's why you'll notice that our alignment went up when we killed that guy, rather than down. Uh... Okay, well, we've done just about all there is to do. We're just we just need to kill our way out of here. Uh and then head onwards. And next time, we are going to be venturing to some new areas. It's time to uh head over back to the western side of the mountains and there's a lot of stuff to do over there that we have not gotten to yet. A lot of things we have not seen. And we're going to start exploring over there in earnest. Not just in bits and pieces, but like, that's where we're going. Because we've done pretty much everything that there is to do in Tarant for now, other than the Thieves' Quests, which we're not really, you know, like, we don't have prowling or anything. We're not built for that, so we don't even have invisibility. So we will head back over, make a pit stop in Kintara, uh, and start exploring the Glimmering Forest, and maybe we'll even see Caledon. That'll be next Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. If you had a good time tonight, because I know I did, then I hope that you will consider 
following, subscribing, liking, maybe hopping over to pledge to our Patreon, or just follow for free. Like the video, leave a comment, etc., etc., etc. Either way, I am grateful for the privilege of your time. Appreciate you playing some Arcanum with me. And uh, between now and next Saturday, don't forget to stop back in on Monday. Specific Pixel will be back with me for more Baroque. Of course, Thursday we will be continuing our current challenge run of Pokemon Crystal, where I am only allowed to use Pokemon that do not have any evolutions. And the following Monday, the 22nd, I'll have more Wasteland too. So if I'm lucky, I'll see you for some or all of those, perhaps if I am very, very lucky. But uh, until the next one, as always, thanks for playing. That guy's just really going for it. He's really getting his steps in.